Hello there everyone, welcome back to some more Legend of Durgan. In the last episode what we did was we went to Ulala and now we've got a fight, so I might as well keep talking. Uh, we went to Ulala and we found out a lot of things. After finding out Rose is the Black Monster, we found out that we, uh, Charles Farmer, the sister of Melbu Farmer, knows about what we need to do next and we're gonna go... I'm gonna go mess up the prompt. We're gonna go resolve the situation. First of all, we're going to Rouge. Which is where Charles Farmer told us to go. In the meantime, though, I'm nearly at the point where I can use uh, Kongle instead of Hacker. God damn it. But in order to do that, I need to get Hex Hammer to max level and then use his ultimate move for a bit to show you how all that works. Yeah, knock Meru out, yeah. you little shit. Okay. She's fine, it's okay. I keep looking at our XP bars and going, hmm, I'm pretty close to a level up. That's good, I'm liking it. But yeah, I'm hoping that people enjoy this series. And I'm glad to be back in YouTube. This is the 19th of February when I'm recording this, so I can't remember. It's 28 more. How many more uh, videos I've actually done this year than I did for last year. But probably about 60 or so more than I did the whole of the last year. But I did do a lot of videos then. Rayman 2 and all that kind of thing. But this is the first big series I've done in a long time. So that's something new and interesting to look forward to. And after this we're going to do, well, I mean after Legend of Dragoon is done, we'll do a short series, like a shorter game. One that won't take 70 episodes or something to finish. And then after that, who knows, we'll find out. Why are you thieves still here? Garrett is dead. You should disband. Okay. But yeah, I'm thinking that we should be able to get this done. Not this four. Probably in the next week. I'm thinking. So for you, it'll be the next few weeks. But for me, it's the next week of recording or so. I should be able to finish the game. There isn't that much more left to do. But there's enough. This is only really the start of disc four. There are three cities, Aglis, uh, Zenobatos, and Mayfil, and we have to go to all three. It just so happens that the order in which they appear is the order in which you go to them. Anyway, we're going all the way back. So we have to go back through the Valley of Property Gravity, we have to go back through the, uh, what's it called, the Barons? And then go back to, what's the city called? Fletz. It's, it's hard for me to remember every single name. I play a lot of RPGs with a lot of different strange sounding names for their towns. There are some that you never forget like Limblum and Midgar and uh, Balum Garden and all that kind of thing. But then there are some that you're just like, wait, what do I... How do I... What's that called again? And that's the same for a lot of things, like you never forget certain villains like Bowser or Sephiroth or, you know, those kinds of enemies. Or Lloyd in this case. Lloyd's very mem memorable to me. But, you know, some of them you like, wait, what was the, uh, what was the enemy's name in Resident Evil 4, the Napoleon guy? I don't remember. Yeah, it was just a dragonfly. Flying through the sky majestically, as they do. And I don't know why specifically they make us go back through this bit. It's not so they pad out the length of the game, because there's no point in doing that. Also, I didn't need to go up here. This is a mistake. I'm going upwards when I don't need to. Just 
Please excuse me. But yeah, I don't think it's to pad out the length of the game, because all the enemies are too easy. There'd be no need to. It's not like I'm posing a threat to myself by coming back through here. What's the way? It's this way, isn't it? I came back through here and I need to go on this left one. Whee! Yeah, there we go. My mistake. Also, I think maybe the sound levels are okay now. I wonder if uh, people will complain. I hope not. That would make me sad. And you wouldn't want to make me sad now, would you? Mm -mm. If you sadden me, I shall engrave you with the power of a thousand suns. And watch as your family burns in hellfire. Or something. That was my melodramatic villain speech. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be here all week. Well, not actually all week. I don't record on weekends besides today, which happens to be a Sunday. Yes, quite good. I've realised that throughout this whole episode it's probably going to be like three minutes of me actually running and then the rest is going to be fight. Maybe not quite that bad, but still. In a little bit, we'll go straight to story, so at least you'll see some fighting. Because the rest of this episode is likely going to be just story. Besides the little fights I get here and there. And of course we get the World 4 uh, map music the whole time now, which is good. How is Hammer Spin coming along? 16 more for that. 23 more for that. Okay. Okay. Give me a fight, baby. Make it a good one. It wasn't a good one. It was just a scorpion friend. And I have no interest in scorpion friends. Anyway, give me... Oh, you swine. The scorpion friend's friend heard me talking smack about his friend. So the scorpion friend's friend defended his friend's honour by smacking me and my friends across the face. Unfortunately, my friend Hashel smacked the scorpion friend's friend with a fist of hexes and it exploded. I hope you followed all that. Dragoon, why? I'm in this for the long haul, baby. These fights are fine. I just wish they were harder. <laughs> if the enemies were harder, I could do more additions and I can also get more experience. But that's the min-max doing me talking. What's the maximum amount of experience and gold I could get per fight in this level of the game, Moon? Does it really matter? Not really. The game's not that hard. Come on, Dart. You're getting there to that level. That's sweet, sweet. Succulent level up. It's almost there. It's ready for you to taste. Mm. I'm trying to think, what level am I now? 30? Yeah. The last time I finished this game, I was level 45. So, put that into perspective. But then again, knowing me, I probably well overused my moves. Like, just fought for the sake of it and leveled up endlessly. I distinctly remember having about 5,000 health as well, although that might be a misremembrance. Twin castle in Flets. Let's go. Let's go. Woohoo. Peachy. Right. That's enough Mario Kart 64 impersonations. We'll go speak to the king. King Zior. Please give me your boat. I didn't mean to go into the shop. It'd be rude not to at least look at the items. Uh, no it wouldn't. I'd just like to imagine Dart walked into the shop, gave the shopkeeper a blank stare. And the shopkeeper looked back at him. 
mortified at what he had just seen. And then, uh, just turns around, Dart just walks, not even turns around, just walks backwards out of the door. Still staring. Okay, here we go. Spot the thing that doesn't make sense in this picture. Dart, I have been waiting for you. What's this? We are seeing you off. We received a messenger from Charl. Or Charl. Her name was Cavan. Everything is ready for going to Rouge. Yes. The world must not be destroyed. Even if it was the intention of the Creator, we are still alive and living. I beg of you, please save the world. Okay. Commodore Pulo is waiting for you in the basement. To carry our hope. So long. So we can go into the basement now, and there just happens to be like a massive port here now. Man of the sea! Oh, you are here! Everybody looks confident. Although you are going to an unknown land, there's no hesitation or wavering. Actually, it's my home village. A man of the sea isn't bothered by those little details. Anyway, we are ready to go. We absolutely have to stop the crazy conspiracy to annihilate the world. However, we should never give up rescuing our loved ones either. Let us be going, Dot. The ocean awaits you. Commodore makes it sound simple, but I assume this time will be a long journey, won't it? Yes. Then I think you better get what you need from the city and come back. Yeah, thank you. It's okay. I'm happy to help you, Dad. Besides, please, please rescue Shannon. We give you our promise. Of course we will. Yeah, I got everything I need. I'll be waiting for you on the boat. Let's go. I'm ready now. I was born ready. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready? Yeah, we are. Now we're leaving. Let's go. Yep, pummy bastard. Doo -ba -doo. Yeah, we'll definitely get fights on the boat, which I'll show, because why not? Ooh, this is what I wanted. Please don't run away immediately. This is the rainbow bird. Yes. Yes. Okay, so let's show you with one sachet what this does. There you go. Have some of that, buddy. When you kill the rainbow bird, you get something very good. 3,000 experience. Mm. Now you see how it might be conceivable to level up quickly. A sachet drops at 2% from the piggies in the Homo Giganto and killing one of these things gives you 3,000 experience every time. Although it's not guaranteed that you'll fight one. I'll try and show you another method, although it might not work. Uh, point. So what we can do... I think this thing has 6 HP, so we can block its move, so now it can't act for 3 turns. That's one of its moves. Okay, I did nothing. Why did I do a thing? That's not good. Wait, you can counter? Oh god. That's two of its moves. Okay, so since I apparently don't know how to kill it, I'm just going to throw another sachet in it. Have this! Yeah. 
Maybe you need to use magic attacks. Maybe you need to use Jagoon attacks. Ooh, a rainbow dress. That's nice. That's actually really good. No level ups that time. Although 3,000 experience just for killing one little bird with like 6 HP is not a bad deal. The rainbow dress is... I think it's really good. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, it avoids poison, stun, arm blocking. So it'll probably be good for... Yeah. For Rose. Yeah, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. So when I use Rose again, because I will use Rose again at some point... Oh, a final fight. Let's see what it is. It's not a rainbow bird, because the music's different. Oh, it's a little squid fellow. Hello. Long time no see, baby octopus. Yes! Gush! Tush! Gush! Gush! Unfortunately, that's all the Taste and death! Mwahaha! <laughs> That wasn't just like a cut him in half, that was a cut him into tiny little chunks and put him on a plate. Squid chunks. Yum. Right, the Outland Village of Rouge. Let's do it, baby. Wow! Sail ho! Apparently no one ever comes here. When was the last time I heard this song? What town was it? Bonus points if you can name the town the song played in last. It's been a long time. I wonder if anybody remembers me. <laughs> Ashel! Yeah, it's me. Well, it's been maybe 20 years. You've been gone for such a long time. How have you been? I was looking for my runaway daughter, but I gave up on it. Claire, huh? That's... I feel sorry to hear that. And who are all these people? Are they your new pupils? No, these are my friends. I'd like you to get to know them. But we don't have time now. I have something important to talk to you about. Alright, come up. I'll listen to you. Come on, get over. The floor's gonna give way. I'm out of here. <laughs> I didn't mean to do this. Now you have to watch me leave. Not anymore. There's no point in lying. It only serves to make you look like a dickhead. Here we go. Right. Climb. So it's all built on these, like, wooden stilts. Hey, you said you have an important thing to talk about, didn't you? Go directly to the mayor's place and don't wander around in the practice area. The mayor's waiting for you, right? Yeah, I suppose he is. I don't, I don't actually know where the mayor went, though. He is up here, so I, I picked the right place. Isn't it a jar to put fish in? Put fish in a jar? Hmm. I know you put fish in a bowl, but a jar? It's made from a finely woven plant. It must be good for muggy nights. Why, because it's uh, light. Or is it because it's warm? Nothing in it, just a decoration now. You know what I'm looking for. Stardust, baby. Wow, your clothes look really heavy. How do you fight in those? Well, we don't have Kempo G in uh, where we're from. You call that huge chunk over there in the sea a ship? Yep. There's a fire in the stove. It makes us even hotter. Rouge is more like a family than a village. Everyone in the village is a member of the family. Indeed. Hasn't changed a bit, huh? No kidding. This village is forgotten. We rarely have visitors from the continent. All we do is fish and sleep. Fish and sleep. Practice and sleep and practice and sleep. That's about it. Nothing has changed since Ashra left the village. Say, what's cooking? You came all the way here. It must be something important, huh? Yup. To be honest, we are looking for the way to the ancient cities. Ancient cities? What the heck are they? Those were towns where the long gone Winglies lived. Do you know anything about them? Winglies? What on earth are they? You lost me. You couldn't know. Let me explain. 
yeah, these people have lived there their whole lives, so they're not likely to know anything about the outside world or the Dragon Campaign or anything like that. The world's crisis? That's a pretty awful thing, then. That's why we are in a hurry. Are there any old ruins around here? Things that humans couldn't make. How about this? This is a stick rising up from the sea. Could it be related? Oh, that thing in the sea. Indeed, humans couldn't have made it. Where's that? It's in the middle of the sea, but you can't get close by boat because there's an awful whirlpool. But you can see it clearly from the cliff top. Well, it suddenly came up, so you wouldn't have known about it. Shall we try? Hope it's the one you folks want to go to. And not just a random death stick in the sky. Death stick! Lil. What's up, Martel? You folks? You're from this village too, Martel? Martel, now I remember. When I left the village, you were still little. I didn't recognize you. Is she sick? How is she? Not good, but it should be okay with this stardust. Now I'm starting. Now I'm starting. I beg you folks, save Lil from my illness. Oh boy. I feel refreshed. I feel refreshed like before I got sick. Lil, I did it. Lil, I saved you. It was all me and not at all what these fine folks did. Ma, I can't breathe. Let's leave them alone. Okay, so we did that. We saw this cutscene. Now we go back and speak to her again and say, Yo, what's happening? What's happening, Martel? What's happening? Oh, it's your folks. Lil's become so much better, but if you found more status, won't you give it to me? I guess it's the particular partiality of a parent. I want to wish for her so that she won't be sick anymore. Keep your eyes open, will you? Yeah, I'll do it. Martel, here. Are you sure? Thank you very much, then. Yeah, it's fine. I have 48 Stardust. I need to find the last two, which are both in here. In Rouge, I mean. There's one here. Around these islands, the boy becomes a family member of the Groom's Island. I heard this place is called Broken Islands. I heard it from a man who came here when I was a kid. Now, where's the last one? I don't remember. Yay! Who puts 100 gold in a place like this? Let's play through the keyhole. Alright, okay, uh... Where's the last one? It's somewhere in this, this town. And the last by the last one, I mean literally the last one in the game. There's, there's only 50 and this is it. Wherever it is, I can't remember. First of all, I need to go to the cliff top. We can speak to some of these guys, though. Hello. Found them in the sea. Buy some. Huh? Huh? Eh? Yeah. would be nice. No, I'm okay. I can't. I can't bring myself to do it. That stick suddenly rose up in the middle of the sea, isn't it? Spooky. 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 No, not really spooky. I'd say odd. Fascinating. Even ethereal, but not spooky. The time is apparently up on my side of the stream, but that's okay. We'll play for a little bit longer. I want to at least show you the cliff top. And what you can see. There it is. That must be what the mayor was talking about. No stick 20 years ago when I was here. It's huge, more like a tower than a stick. This structure could never have been made by human technology. Rose, do you know anything about it? You were there once, weren't you? That's right, Rose is one of the dragoons who liberated humans. 
Don't you remember anything? Charles said the signet spheres were made in the magic city Aglis, the death city Mayfield, and the law city Cenobatos. If I remember correctly, there was only the magical city Aglis in this region of the sea. Charles must have made us come here because she thinks he will go after the signet sphere of Aglis first. Mose, a question please. What the heck is the law city or whatever they call it? What do they mean? I was thinking about that too. The Crystal Palace was called the Birth City too. The Birth City Crystal Palace was a city where babies were selected to be born. Select babies? Those with weak magic power weren't allowed to be born. That's awful! And the Death City Mayfield was where the souls of the dead were sent to in an infernal world. Wingleys in the past had even their destination after death decided for them. Do you want to know anything else? Okay, well, let's find out about all this stuff. It was the capital of the Wingley world dominated by Melville Fanner. It was the centre of politics and the military. That's why it was so damaged. That's the reason why it was the Forbidden Land now. I already told you, you're hopeless. The Birth City Crystal Palace is the city where babies were selected to be born. Those who weak measure power weren't allowed to be born. Don't make me say it again, didn't you listen to me? The Death City Mayfield was the city where the souls of the dead were sent to an infernal world. Wingleys wanted to control even the destination of the soul after death. The Law City Cenobatos was the city where Wingley laws were made. Publicly, they claimed it was for justice, but in reality, there were laws to judge other species. Also, trials and executions were carried out in Cenobatos. I can easily imagine what kind of trials they were. It gives me the creeps. The magical city Aglis was a city where magic was studied. It's astonishing that even though they had much more magic than now, they still had studied it so deeply. But it never happened now. You are carefree, Mavu. You really know this stuff. If it's Aglis, how can we approach it? We've got to hurry or Zeke will get there first. Well, we can't go by boat. We've got to find some other way. And we're not allowed to wander around here? I'd like to wander around here. Yeah, that's fine. Teach me your ways. The realization of progress makes even a hard practice enjoyable. Yeah, as long as you think you're making progress. You're going near the stick. It's impossible. There's a big whirlpool around the stick. No boat can go near there. Discipline your body and discipline your heart. Then the tower of the martial art will open itself. Never forget it. Good job, kids. Loving it. Um, where's the Stardust then? I'm going to find it, but I'm not going to find it now. We'll find it next time on The Legend of Dragoon. Oh, wait. Cutscene. Who's watching me? What's wrong, Rose? We were being watched by somebody. Being watched? Whoop. What's going on? The, the sea's splitting. Oh my god! Let's go!
How are we going to get into this giant fissure in the ground? I guess it's just pure normal ground now. Like Moses who parted the sea. This is just like less of a parting, more of a straight cut through the bloody middle of it. But yeah, we'll see. But we'll find out next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you guys then.